Hi, welcome to Grow with Angie. I'm Angie, and today we're gonna to be talking about this bug zapper. Why a bug zapper, you ask? There has been something called a gypsy moth that is killing everything. I have never seen the devastation that this has been doing to our trees. I just am, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> like the tops of my trees are super bare because of these gypsy moths, but they start out as a caterpillar. Now the caterpillar comes from eggs that were laid the previous year. They travel by attaching themselves to cars, trailers, campers, and this is just gonna continue to happen and spread across the other states. They swing from tree to tree on their silk worm string. They crawl up the trees in the morning, they eat all of your leaves, and they poop all day long you guys they poop so much it sounds like it's raining it sounded like it rained in our woods for about two to three weeks and then the poop was everywhere then the caterpillar started to cocoon you can stop some of the caterpillars by wrapping your trees with duct tape preventing the worms from getting up the tree but if you're somebody like me who has 20 acres i don't know how i can wrap every single tree with duct tape it's really great if you have one or two trees on your property and once the caterpillars turn into moths, the gypsy moth, then the males are the ones that fly. The females stay wherever they were hatched out of their cocoon when they were moving around as a caterpillar. That's where they make their little egg sacs and the males come to mate and then they fly off. I'm trying to catch as many of those male moths as I possibly can because if I'm gonna protect anything, I'm gonna protect my property and maybe the neighbors around me from not having the same infestation as we did this year, next year. So let's take a look at this bug zapper and see if it still gets a green thumbs up or a brown thumbs down and if it was worth it to slow down the moths and now, we're going into mosquito season. This is the G-Tox. I ordered it on Amazon. It's a 15 watt bulb. There's no timer. We have to turn it on and off every night. It's supposed to only weigh like a pound and a half. Here's my little brush. There is a little tray on the bottom that is supposed to catch your bugs. And quite honestly, it's not very thick. For 24 bucks, I think is what I paid for it. Hopefully it will work. All right, the light is on. We're gonna give it a test run tonight. Okay, it ran all night and I can see there are some bugs stuck onto it. I'm gonna open up the bottom and see what we get out of it. Not as many as I thought, and you can see there are still some alive. And a couple flew out, but they might have just gotten in there this morning with it off. I may have to move it, uh, maybe turn on the porch lights to attract them in to the actual area instead of just having this one light. I gotta say, it's kind of fun. I've never owned a bug zapper before. <laughs> this is the only problem I have found so far is if one sticks, and doesn't fall down. It just zaps them for a really long time. So I did have to pull the plug real quick and get out my little brush and move one of the bugs. I definitely recommend putting this on a porch or patio and turning your patio lights on. It drew them in. Obviously they're still playing around with it this morning, but it's not on. I want to clean it and I caught way more of the gypsy moths having the porch lights on versus just sticking it out in the yard by itself. Oh, and it stinks, by the way, FYI, this thing smells so bad this morning. This is the inside, so apparently it didn't kill everybody and maybe I should have waited a day or two before I opened it. Um, so now they're just being released. <laughs> yeah, maybe leave your lid on for a couple days so they don't get out. So what's my decision? green thumbs up. 
this thing is amazing. I can't tell you how many bugs I've gotten. And over the last couple nights that I haven't been recording and we've gone from the gypsy moths now to the mosquitoes, this thing is like fireworks all night long. I highly recommend getting one. Try and save the trees. Try and save your gardens. And even if it's something as simple as a bug zapper, hopefully we won't see this in the next years to come. Thanks for watching Girl with Angie. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. I know there's so many things I'm asking you to do, but I appreciate all of your support and you guys continuing to watch my channel and we'll see you on the next episode of Girl with Angie.